Hey Dreamers, this is Saki and welcome to a new video. Today I'll be showing you how to make realistic ice from scratch. This is pretty much based on the techniques that I showed you in my realistic ground tutorial, but with a different focus on shape, color and finish. I'll still be showing you all steps from start to end and also show you what you can actually do with it or how to use it. So what we start off with is a stretch cylinder and we make a little cut into it. This is a shape where I feel like it is looking all different when copying it later and it's very useful when copying it, but you can pretty much use any shape here. We start our object with a main blue color, I like to use the lightest one, and then we start subtracting with our cylinder in combination with soft blend with a slightly different shade of the blue. Now you just want to keep subtracting like this all around the object. In the guides menu you can also turn on the studio lighting to see your object more clear. Now in the next step we want to add all the detail like we did with the realistic ground piece. For this we take a sphere, cut it into half um, and make a hole into it. You can actually skip this part if you want to, it's not necessarily needed but it adds a little bit more detail and realism to it. Now we change the color to a mixture out of every of the blue colors. By wiping with the finger over the touchpad we can also start spinning our object. Now we just keep smearing onto the object with surface snap activated. Once we're happy with the outcome we can now start with the next step where we take a cube, turn off surface snap again and choose a white color. Now we just switch back to the stamp mode, press L1 and square to get into the options menu and activate soft blend. Now in this step we're just soft blending the cubes into our shape. Here I really recommend you to try out a lot with how you want the shape to look like but you can already see how just like this it's already amazing how incredible it looks like realistic ice and you can also do snow with it. Definitely take your time on it and once you're finished it could look like this. The only problem I have with this piece is that you can still see that we used cubes that we basically put in there. So what I do now is basically go into the subtract mode and choose a blue color again to have this awesome shades on it or gradient and also different colors make it look more realistic. And now we just want to keep soft blend subtracting again. Definitely take your time on this as well and make it as perfect as you want it to be. Now here's a quick look on the finished piece that I made. I'm pretty happy with it and now it's perfectly set up to create the texture. First we want to go onto the tools and go on the looseness option. Here we can choose how loose or sharp we want it to be. I usually try to set it um, as realistic as possible at first. Here on the slider you can see what it actually does. As I said we're doing it as realistic as possible first to check the thermo as well. On the thermo we can see that the piece only has 2% actually free with the ground as well. But now I usually tend to go into the sculpture detail and lower it just a little bit. Now it only has like 1 or 2% depending how much it is without the ground I didn't check. But now we can go on and make it actually look like ice. For this I like to make it all shiny and use a little bit of waxiness. And you can also play around with the tilt amount slider if you want it to be more white instead of blue. I like to use it a little bit, actually make it into the middle here. This means it's a mixture out of the tint amount and the spray paint we did. Additionally you can also add 1% of glow to it which also makes it look quite good in my opinion 
And here I'm just showing you quickly how you can lay them out or make an icy cave out of it or whatever you like to do. There's just one more important step for pretty much everything shiny and that is to add a light. You can do that in two different ways. You can use the natural sun and sky gadget and make it like a low angle. Or you can use a light from the gadgets menu, what I like to do a lot. And there we have many different options here and I definitely recommend you to try out a lot with it. First, I would recommend you to make it bigger and try out with a lot of different images because the images are really powerful and you can also blur the image out if you don't want it to be too hard as you can say. I also recommend you to make the light blue for eyes especially or grey a little bit and turn the brightness down a lot. I usually like to make it around 5 to 10% or even lower. Now experiment with placing the lights and how you want to use them. The result is absolutely amazing and it makes a huge difference with the lights. Now last, here's a little showcase of what you can actually do with what you've just learned. This is an ice cave that I made as part of my professional project and yeah. With this, I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give it a like, some feedback and definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video.